Anton, get, tell the people in the audience a couple of players you represent and then your thoughts on Sure. Uh, we've got clients like Patrice Bergeron, Chris Letang, uh, Brian Little, who plays for Chevy in, in Winnipeg, uh, Andrew Cogliano, Dar Darnell Nurse, among others, TJ Brody in Calgary. Um, in, I, and, I, and I think Kevin's right to a certain degree in, in, in terms of negotiating a deal. At the, at the end of the day, we're all businessmen and we're trying to maximize the value for our client. And, and Kevin's client is the Winnipeg Jets and Mr. Chipman is his boss who, who uh, uh, to some extent is going to give Kevin a budget. Uh, whether that budget is at the cap or not at the cap. And, and I've got a client who plays in a marketplace that is a cap system in the National Hockey League right now. I, I think the variety of things that come into play are not just even specific to whether you've got an entry level player, a restricted free agent, or a UFA player. It's really who that player is and how does that player fit into the system. So uh, at the end of the day, I believe there's always a marketplace for a particular player. And depending on who that player is, let's say it's Brian Little, who I did a deal with uh, with uh, Larry Simmons, Kevin's uh, assistant general manager last summer. At the end of the day, there's a marketplace for a player of Brian's ability, and the spread on that marketplace, depending on other players that have signed, might be as little as $250,000, or might be as much as a million, for that matter. And my job as an agent is to maximize Brian's value and to achieve the highest level possible. So I want to be at the high end of that. And from a business standpoint, Kevin wants to be at the low end of that. I fully understand that. And, and that's the range that we're in. And 99.9% .9 of contracts end up being in that range, whether it's the high end of the range, the middle of the range, or the, or the low end of the range. The one exception to that rule, I think, is when you have um, a player of unbelievable exceptional ability who is now going to break the mold of what the model is. And that player could be Wayne Gretzky. He could be Connor McDavid. And I think here in Toronto, one of the things that we're seeing um, with the Toronto Maple Leafs and the, the Willie Nylander negotiations is what is the marketplace? Because the mold for players coming out of the entry level system that has existed historically um, which I think most people would say is somewhere between the six to seven million dollar range on a longer term deal and that's what Mark Shifley did in Winnipeg, David Pasternak did in, in, in Boston. The mold got broken a little bit last summer uh, when Connor McDavid, who is no, you know, notably probably the best player in hockey or among the best, did a $12.5 million deal coming out of the entry level system. And his teammate, who nobody would necessarily compare to Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl did a contract worth $8.5 million. So did that reset the marketplace or are those exceptions to the rules? Did they break the mold or is the mold still the same? And that's the debate that's going on in Toronto. Willie Nylander thinks the marketplace got reset. The Leafs are saying it didn't get reset. Those are exceptions to the rule. And now we're going to see what, what reset there is in the marketplace. Thank you.